Okay, in this video we're going to talk about constant, constant rates of change, or we're going to call it constant of proportionality. So, um, I want you to pause the video and write this problem down. Isaac sold granola bars to help raise money for orchestra. The table shows the amount of money he made in relation to the number of granola bars he sold. So write this down along with the table, and you can see that for two granola bars he made $1.50, for three he made two seventy-five, and so on and so forth. So pause and copy this problem down. Now I want you to write down this question over here. Um, is there, in this situation, a constant rate of change? So I want you to think about what constant means, the same, consistent, and then rate of change. So I want you to think about whether or not you think there is a constant rate of change in this situation. And now here's another way to think about it. In other words, is there a consistent increase or decrease? So let's actually take a look at this. What is the difference um, or the change between two and three? That's a change of one. What is the change between $1.50 and $2.75, that's a change of 75 cents. What is the change here? One, and what is the change here? 75 cents. So, do you think that there is a constant rate of change? Yes. So, as we increase by one granola bar, we are increasing by 75 cents. So, um, yes, there's a constant rate of change. Because as granola bars increase by one, money increases by 75 cents. Now I want you to write down that this rate of change is called the constant of proportionality. It stays consistent throughout the whole problem. We have a proportional relationship. As granola bars increase, money also increases proportionally. Granola, uh, the money that you make depends on the number of granola bars that you sell. So the rate of change in this situation is the constant of proportionality. So in this situation, 75 cents is the constant of proportionality. So make sure you have that written down. 75 cents is the constant of proportionality. One more thing that I want to point out. What do you notice about... 75 cents. If we were to find the unit rate or the value of one granola bar, what would that be? One granola bar is 75 cents. Hmm. So here's, a, here's something that's very important. Your unit rate is also the constant of proportionality. So write that down. Unit rate is also the constant of proportionality. So now I'd like you to answer these questions. We are going to be discussing these in class. In your own words, what does it mean when a situation has a constant rate of change? What does constant of proportionality mean? And how can you find the constant of proportionality? In other words, what did we talk about is another word or another phrase for constant of proportionality. And these are, again, things that we will discuss in class.